Rita Rudner. Well, thank you very much. I should ask you a question, I guess, to start off with. Have you seen me on the David Letterman show, or do you have jobs? <laughs> I didn't start out as a comedian at all. I started out, I was a ballerina. I, I had to quit the ballet after I injured a groin muscle. It wasn't mine. <laughs> He's doing very well, though, really. He's a soprano with the Vienna Boys Choir. Well, I'm going home next week. Yes, it's kind of a family emergency. My parents are coming here. <laughs> There's really only one way to describe my mother. There's a very old saying. I don't know if you've heard it. Neurotics build castles in the air and psychotics live in them. Yeah, well, my mother cleans them. <laughs> She's the worst cook ever, my mom. Really, even I knew you didn't put fabric softener in meatloaf. <laughs> she once made this rice. You can't undercook it. You can't overcook it. She lost it. <laughs> For years, whenever I went into a restaurant and saw a sign that said home-style cooking, I left. <laughs> In school, when we traded lunches, I had to throw in an article of clothing. <laughs> I hate cooking more than anything. When men ask me that awful question, when are you going to make me dinner? I say, any time you like, what kind of cold cereal interests you? <laughs> Eating out is very expensive, though. I was in one restaurant, they didn't even have prices on the menus. Just pictures of faces with different expressions of horror. <laughs> I did learn how to make one thing, though I did. I learned how to make popcorn. Well, I, I have to tell you why, because I don't like to go to the movies and pay $3 a bucket for popcorn. Popcorn costs 13 cents a silo. <laughs> I do work out a lot. I don't jog, though. I don't understand what motivates a jogger. I mean, what would make those marathons, what would make 17,000 people want, want to run? 26 miles. All I could figure out was maybe there was a Hare Krishna on back of them going, excuse me, can I talk to you just a second? <laughs> and now that's not bad enough. Now they have the triathlons. I'm sure you've seen them where they try to kill themselves. <laughs> they bike and then they swim and then they run. Why? <laughs> Why? Either these people don't have jobs or they have jobs that are incredibly difficult to get to. <laughs> There's the woman who swam around Manhattan, and someone asked her why she did it, and she said, because no one had ever done it before. Well, she didn't have to do that. If she wanted to do something no one had ever done before, all she really had to do was vacuum my apartment. <laughs> Now, gymnastics, that looks like a great sport. That looks like lots of fun. It really does. But you have to learn that when you're young, you know? I don't know. If someone were to try to teach me now to do a backwards flip on a board an inch and a half wide, um, I would say, look, why don't I just stand here and you could beat me with a stick? I diet, I exercise, I still don't look anything like those women in Playboy, though. I just, I think they get there from other planets. I hope so, because I don't want them here. <laughs> this one girl I saw, she was, she was amazing, and I don't think she had silicone, either. I think she had helium. <laughs> she was so big, I couldn't keep the magazine closed. <laughs> My old boyfriend used to look at those pictures for hours. I'd say, do you think she's pretty? He'd say, no. 
Yeah, I hooked him up to a lie detector once he shorted out Chicago. <laughs> he used to say, I read Playboy for the articles. Yeah, I said, yes, I know. I, I go to department stores for the escalators. <laughs> I do love to shop, I admit it. I rationalize shop, I buy a dress because I need change for gum. <laughs> One time I love to shop is after a bad relationship. I don't know, I go and, I, you too, I go and I buy a new outfit and it makes me feel better. It just does. In fact, sometimes if I see a really great outfit, I'll break up with someone on purpose. <laughs> Once I saw a great outfit and, and I wasn't dating anyone. So I went up and, and hugged a stranger and slapped him and bought it. <laughs> Relationships, they don't last anymore. You know, when I meet a guy, the first question I ask myself is, is this the man I want my children to spend their weekends with? <laughs> my mom's always trying to figure out new ways to keep excitement in their marriage. It, not easy. She took up belly dancing once and she just wasn't real good at it. In order to make it appear like she was moving my dad and I had to jiggle the furniture in back of her. <laughs> my cousin just got married for totally, totally the wrong reason. She married a man for money and she wasn't real subtle about it either. Instead of her fiance, she kept calling him her financee. Why are women wearing perfumes that smell like flowers to attract men? That's what I don't understand. Men don't like flowers. I've been wearing a great scent, though. It's called New Car Interior. <laughs> I just read men reach their sexual peak at 18. Did you know that? Yeah, women reach their sexual peak at 35. Did you get the feeling God is into practical jokes? <laughs> We're reaching our sexual peak right around the same time. They're discovering they have a favorite chair. <laughs> I do think about having children, though, I do, because time is running out, you know, and I know I want to have children while my parents are still young enough to take care of them. <laughs> My friends tell me stories, though. They scare me. One of my friends told me she was in labor for 36 hours. Yeah, I know. I don't even want to do anything that feels good for 36 hours. <laughs> and another friend of mine, she's pregnant, and her husband wants to have natural childbirth, and she doesn't. So he's just been going to those classes by himself. <laughs> They're trying to put warning labels on liquor now that say caution alcohol can be dangerous to pregnant women. Did you read that? Yeah, I think that's ironic. If it wasn't for alcohol, most women wouldn't even be that way. <laughs> My friends, they make such big deals over their children's birthday parties. It's so amazing. My friend just had a great big surprise party for her child. He's won. We all snuck in around the crib. We jumped up, we all surprised. Well, he was surprised. He's in therapy. I had the worst birthday party ever, ever, ever when I was a child because my parents hired a pony to give rides and... Well, these ponies are never in good shape. But this one dropped dead. It just wasn't much fun after that. One kid would sit on him and the rest of us would drag him around in a circle. because I'm in show business and I have so many exciting things to do now. Maybe I'll go to sleep. I, I don't know. I admit it. I love to sleep. Do you like it?
Isn't it great? It's, it's the best of... Thank you. Applause for sleep. Thank you for that. Yeah. It really is the best of both worlds. You get to be alive and unconscious. <laughs> Once I went to sleep and I dreamt I had insomnia. It was just the strangest night, you know. I woke up and thought, now I can get some sleep. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good night. <laughs>